A Hampshire lifeboat crew got more than they bargained for when they lifted their anchor chain and found a 50-year-old seaplane propeller attached to it. The quarter-ton propeller was discovered by crewmen from Cowshot RNLI station and is thought to be one of four from a Sunderland seaplane based at Cowshot when it was an RAF base. Crew members noticed the mooring boy from their Tyne-class lifeboat had been snagged when they returned from a routine operation a week ago. Cowshot crewman Mike Lawrence raised the mooring chain at low tide and made the shock discovery. This area is steeped with, with history, um, be it from the D-Day landing through to the, the aviation uh, history uh, and the like, and, and all the way back to the Mary Rose that was found just down the, co- just down the, the way here. So uh, there's a lot of history in, in these areas. Unfortunately, with the waters being so busy and with it being very murky, you can't get down to half these things. It requires very specialist equipment. And with this wreck being so close to the lifeboat, obviously it's very dangerous to dive near it. But in terms of significance... It's a, very, uh, it's a very good find because obviously it's something that has come off of a, an aircraft that has been submerged for some time. Um, and uh, obviously the, the, um, the receiver of Rex, who, who has been informed, will, uh, will catalogue it. And, and hopefully this will take uh, pride of place if, uh, if, uh, if the RAF, uh, um, uh, if they are the owners, if the owners don't, don't have it, then uh, hopefully it will take pride of place in the Aviation Museum in Southampton, where people can go and have a look at it for themselves and, and, and see what it's like.